In this presentation, we will understand how to reverse a range of numbers. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is reversing a range of numbers using negative step value. And the second topic is reversing a range of numbers using reversed function. So, let's get started with the first topic that is reversing a range of numbers using negative step value. Now, let's learn how to reverse a range of numbers using negative step value and that too with the help of for loop. We know that if we use the range function along with for loop, we can print a range of numbers on the screen. But, this time we want a reversed sequence, not the normal sequence. For this purpose, let's consider one simple example. Let's say that we want to print numbers from 5 to 1. That is, we want to print 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 on the screen. For this purpose, we can use this for statement. For i in range, 5, 0, minus 1. In this case, the start value is 5, the stop value is 0 and the step value is minus 1. This time, we have the negative step value. Now, what does it mean? We know that when the step value is positive, let's say this is 1, then in that case, in order to obtain the next value, we must add 1 to the previous value. In this case, we have negative step value, we have minus 1. So, in order to obtain the next number after the start value, we must add minus 1 to the start value. So, 5 minus 1 gives us 4. Similarly, in order to get the third value of the sequence, we must add minus 1 to 4. This gives us 3. So, eventually, we will get numbers starting from 5 up to 1. We will not get 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 must not be included in the result as this is what we know already. So, we will get the range from 5 to 1. This means we will get 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 from this range function. We know that variable i will receive those values one by one. And eventually, we can print those values on the screen. In order to print those values, we need this print function within this for loop. To this print function, we just need to pass i. After this for loop, we just want to print done on the screen. Now, let's execute this code line by line. The first line is for i in range 5, 0, minus 1. We know that i variable will receive value 5 first. So, let's make variable i point to value 5. After this, we need to print this value. 5 is now printed on the screen. Then, what is the next step? We again need to go here. This time, variable i will receive value 4. Then after this, we need to print this value on the screen. Value 4 will be printed. Then in the next step, variable i will receive value 3. Then after this, we need to print this value on the screen. 3 is now printed. Now after this, variable i will receive value 2. Then this value 2 will be printed on the screen. After this, variable i will receive value 1. Then this value will be printed on the screen. This is the last value that variable i will receive. We know that after this, variable i will not receive value 0 because 0 is the stop value. This value is never included in the result. Therefore, we are done with this for loop. After this, done is printed on the screen. So, we will get done on the screen. So, this is the final output we have received. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and then done. I hope this concept is completely clear. In this way, we can reverse a range of numbers using negative step value. The concept is pretty simple. Start value in this case is 5. 5 minus 1 gives us the next value, which is 4. Then 4 minus 1 will give us the next value, which is 3. Then 3 minus 1 will give us the next value, which is 2. The last value that we will receive is 1. And 0 must not be included in the result. 
This is what we need to remember. Now, as we have learned how to reverse a range of numbers using negative step value, let's move on to the next topic, which is reversing a range of numbers using a reversed function. Python provides us this function to reverse a range of numbers. In order to reverse a range of numbers, we can pass range function as the argument to the reversed function. Reversed function needs a range of numbers and we know that range function returns a range of numbers. So let's say that the requirement is to print values from 5 to 1. The same thing we need to do. We need to print values 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. For this purpose, this time we will use the reversed function. So let's do this now. This time we are using the reversed function and to the reversed function we are passing this range function. This time we are not using negative step value. We are passing these positive values. This range function will return values from 1 to 5 as it can be observed. Here the step value is positive. The start value is 1. We need to add 1 to this value in order to obtain the next value. We'll get 2, then we'll get 3, then 4, then 5 and then we need to stop because the stop value is 6. This must not be included in the result. So we will get the range of numbers starting from 1 to 5 from this range function. This result is provided as the argument to the reversed function. Now the job of reversed function is to reverse the range. So eventually reversed function will return values starting from 5 and that goes up to 1. This means we will receive 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. So in this way we can reverse a range of numbers using reversed function. And as usual, we need print i inside this for loop and outside this for loop we print done. After executing this code, we will get this output 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and then done. I hope this concept is also clear how to reverse a range of numbers using reversed function. So with this, we are done with this topic also and this means that we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.